So do you mind if we start to dive into your business? No. Because that's kind of what we love. So let's say if you were to just dream up like ideal scenario, like your end goal, what is your big goal as a coach or even not as a coach? Like where do you want to get to in the next five, ten years? Yeah, so um, a good friend of mine, um, Joe Moore, I met him when I was coaching in New Orleans. We've always um, thrown the idea back and forth, back and forth, like coming up with some coaching curriculum, you know, and giving mm-hmm. a course for coaches because they are so neglected. And also, you know, helping them understand the business side of things, because that's one thing is like, um, a lot of people don't understand how kind of shitty it is to be a coach when it comes to like pay and benefits, right? Because some gyms don't have insurance, yeah. like pay by hour or you're this or that. There's no real um, consistency, right? And sometimes if you're 1099, you know, like I'm just learning too, like how to write things off and all of that. So, you know, having a course um, that we created from start to finish that has and encompasses everything on the floor coaching, you know, aspects of a good coach, aspects of coaching like above and beyond, you know, having some type of nutrition, just like baseline, um, you know, how you want to coach, you know, are you more of a stretcher, blah, blah, blah. Um, That's something that I would like to do in the next 10 years. Um, With my business, I really go back and forth on it. Like, you know, I think would I love to have a team of people on my nutrition business? Absolutely. But I don't know if I want to have it for my business. More of like in that podcast that I mentioned earlier with James Clear and Ben Bergeon. James Clear every year gets a group of people together and they have kind of like this mastermind thing or on Zoom. I think that would be fun. You know, I love to bring people together. Yeah. I love to get people's perspective. I love to ask questions because asking questions is it's where it's at. You need to ask questions more or ask questions more because that's where the answers lie or they facilitate a thought process that you might eventually get the answer to, you know, the question or that missing piece of the puzzle. Right. So it kind of sounds like you really would want to be a coach for other coaches. Does that sound right? I still want to coach on the floor. I mean, that's, Something that's okay. so passionate with your cup. And I love coaching um, right. in the nice way possible to say this, the average Joe, just like the average person who, you know, maybe wants to get lean or, you know, perform in the gym, but they're not like going anywhere like at a pro level, right? They just have goals for themselves um, because I feel like sometimes they get pushed to the wayside and feel like, you know, that person who is like, um, adjusting or scaling the workout, I want them to feel just as important as a person who is like been there for so long and they can do like the RX plus type stuff. I feel like that's where right. kind of like my specialty lies in helping, um, you know, people in a group setting feel like they're not like they're the only one in class, but they feel important. Like what they're doing is very important. 